Hi, this is Simon from Fingers on Plastic and in this video I am going to be looking at Studio Series 86, number 6. You may be thinking, what happened to 4 and 5? Well, it's simple. I'm in the UK and we don't have 4 and 5 yet. Well, I don't. I'd like 4 and 5. I'm not at all bitter that I don't have 4 and 5. But number 6 is bloody awesome. So here he is in his box. Again, we've got a nice window box, a nice bit of art on the side. He's a leader class, so he's a big lad, so he's not on the turntable because then I'd have to move things. <laughs> so, um, product shots. Uh, big chunky bugger. Now, make note of that and that. Still very cool stuff. Uh, same artwork on the side. I, again, I really like these boxes. I'm actually displaying these guys in their boxes at the moment next to my um, Quintesson pit. Because I love that Quintesson pit. But that's it for his box. Let's crack him open and see what we see. Out of the box, our Lock of Grim. Looks like this. And he's, he's pretty spectacular, let's be honest. This guy's got a presence. It's a nice update. And it's it doesn't need an upsized knockoff because you could just get the masterpiece. <laughs> um, where with the other figures I've mentioned a couple of tweaks they could do for the up, you know the upscale knockoff. Just you know for him just get the masterpiece if you want the upscaled. Hey. I like he's got these pistons in there. That's cool. That is detail. It's the only thing that stops it from being a 10 out of 10 in my book. Can you guess what? That, just a flap. Come on. You, may, you, you went as far as putting piston looking things in there. And didn't put a flap there. Other than that, this guy's. I mean, this is possibly a pinch dark. I know a few people have said it's dark. But there may be two versions. I'm sure someone says that, um, someone's got a copy of it where their gold is a little bit more yellow and that's a little bit more see-through so are there two versions of this figure <clears throat> who knows you also get this uh which is of course wheelie which i mean it's an accessory that's all it is it's an it's not a figure so i know people have been moaning about the fact his legs don't move and it would have been nice if his legs weren't set but it's an accessory like a gun. Um, it's, it's, I mean, it sits great, and it does. I've seen it sit in robot mode, but I've forgotten where. So you know, sorry about that. Look at that gun. That is a proper murder cannon. Just black molded plastic, but it is. It's a nice looking murder cannon. And he, yeah, so he's got, he has got a look about him which works, you know, a presence, and it says, I'm going to stomp on you. Uh, for the first time in a long time, I prefer his robot mode to his dinosaur mode. I just think it looks that bit better in robot. And now let's pull up. Here's G1 picture. Yeah. No complaints there other than that just being a touch dark and yeah. So I, I'm sure, so there's, this is because they've yellowed this a bit more but I'm sure I've seen a version of it where it's a bit more yellow. I could be wrong but this is box. So on his box. It is definitely a bit more yellow. Let's get rid of that light. So that's that being a bit more see-through and that being a bit more yellow. And I, so I wonder if someone must have uh, pre-production samples because otherwise it will just imagine the aggravation trying to get another version of this. He's worth it because he is a. I mean, look at those feet. <laughs> 
my goodness. Yeah, it's it's a nice update to the G1, to the one that, could the dinosaur head be a little bit better? A little bit bigger, sorry. But we'll cover that when we get to, to Dino. Um, and I could have finished painting back there, but I'm quibbling. I don't know why that's red. Now I'm done quibbling. Why is that red? It's an awesome, awesome figure. It works, it looks great, it's hefty. That is just a beautiful sound in a toy. Let's not forget, this isn't masterpiece, this is toy level. So that sound in toy, which is just dawned on me, you might not be able to hear because my mic's in a funny position there. Hold on, because it's worth it. That noise in a toy is awesome. Don't even at me if you disagree. I don't care. You're wrong. Big fan of that. A very soft one in there. And in the knee. He can look down, but it, because it compresses into his chest, uh, he can sort of look up. A little bit wiggly. Not much waggly. All the way around. His wings are poseable. Like, very poseable. That can go all the way around and out for the cuddle. Paddy will be pleased because I forgot to mention the cuddle in the previous three videos, so he'll be back that the, he'll be happy that the cuddle's back. Forward backwards look at how much backwards there. Knee. Uh, look at that! Oh, because tilty foot, I and mean, he just looks like he's gonna kick the absolute tar out of somebody. And I like it. There he is with the boys again. I think there's not much to do now than to get him transformed up. I'll be back. And here is Big Grim himself. Uh, looking fairly awesome. Um, he's got quite a wide back. Don't know if they could have slimmed that up a bit. That is quite wide. Baby got back. And there's a little bit of gap there. But other than that, look at it. It's just, it's Grimlock, isn't it? It's Grimlock missing his front teeth. <laughs> I'm sure a third party will provide a denture kit for him at some point. But, uh, yeah. Wheelie sits on him like that. Alright. Seen Wheelie? He's there. Wheelie is going to go... Oh, he's not going to go back in the box because I'll take a couple of pictures. Then he'll go back in the box and we're probably not going to see Wheelie again. He's a cool accessory, but whatever. And his gun can clip there. Very securely. All right, let us bring in the picture. Yeah, Grimlock. Um, what can you say? It's it's Lock of Grim. It works. I, I think in this case, because I don't know, something about the head looks a little bit narrow to me and the missing front teeth. So if you put this up there, it looks a little bit like, woo! Ah, um, oh, I should get Paddy to make some sound effects for that. Paddy will get great camp sound effects. Um, some detail on the neck. Again, so it looks different than on the, uh, the box. So again, I have to wonder if the people that have posted pictures that look like this, if they've got pre-production samples. And hopefully not two versions. He's really good, so would he be worth buying too? Possibly. He's a little bit gappy there, but who's going to display him so you're staring at his dino crotch? If that's you, you've got bigger issues than that. Trust me. Uh, yeah. I don't know why his, um, 
his joints are red. Seems like, a, you know, I, I get the red bit there and, you know, the bits of colour there, but I don't know why. The, whoop! Crikey, these other bits are red. But he's still very cool and he, he will, he says, he will hold a pose. So there you go, he can then, uh, eat wheelie with his face down ass up. <laughs> Who knows? It works. It's great, great figure. I, I can't wait to get Hot Rod and Scourge to complete these guys. Right, let's bring in some others. Alright, we're only bringing in Cup because, well, he's quite big. Um, yeah. I love this guy. It's, it's, they're all just so so far. The four I've got from the Studio series work, and they work really, really, really well. Um, they are good figures. <laughs> he said he does stand up when he's balanced properly. Um, yeah, I think he's fabulous, darling. Um, he does turn his dino head so it's a bit puzzled. Well, if you put it up there it looks a bit weird don't know why I'm assuming about that and I wish they'd have painted the knobble but <coughs> again minor minor nitpicks uh, you can wave his little arms that can go around you can bend his legs I've seen a few people sort of posing like that but that looks a bit weird to me so I say that looks a bit weird. That's, that was, that's the Grimlock pose. We know it's not a T-Rex pose, but it's the Grimlock pose. And I think that's about it for number four. Um, great. So that's four recommends in a row. Another nine out of ten. Because remember, these things are toys. They're not masterpieces. They're toys. These are the things you will find in Smiths and the Entertainer if they ever actually get them in. You know, you don't have to order them. That said, it's always good to buy from Kapow and in-demand toys and comics and cocktails because there's need support for these things. More so than Zavi. Now I'm just ranting, that's another story altogether. And I've just recorded four videos in blocks in a row. And apparently I'm running out of voice because I've not really spoken for a week because I've been sick as a dog. <clears throat> so that, wraps up Grimlock. Thank you very much. Big Grim himself. Uh, that was the chair. <laughs> Fingers on plastic. <laughs>